Right, this is the first video of a new series called Modern Warfare 2 Competitive Assistance. It's here to help you become a better player online at Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today I'm going to be going over the Assault class, so let's be an Assault class. This is going to be a basic one, so I'm going to go with the M4. I'm going to stick on the old red dot, because it's the best. Any old camo will do. It doesn't matter which one you choose for that. Okay, second new weapon uh, launching. I'm gonna go with machine pistol because it's kind of like a backup M4, close range bit of machine gun going on. My equipment, uh, I'll stick on a sticky grenade. Don't really need the throwing knife or the spawn. Best shield, definitely stun. Right, this one I'm gonna go with um, scavenge, so I can constantly keep it loaded. I'm gonna go with stuffing power pro. Definitely stuff and power, and I'm pro, so it's gonna be pro. And then, pick three, steady aim, and then painful. Okay, the most important part of your class is the name you give it, so I'm gonna go with Mega Assault. No, wait, let's put a 4 in there instead of an A, and then we'll spell some assault with letters. That's definitely the key to how good you are, is the awesomeness of the name you give your class. Okay, let's find a game. Right, that was quick. Right, I can see this map, Scrapyard. Right, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to it's a sort of small box map, so I'm going to stay around the edges, and preferably I'm going to go for a corner. And because a corner, I can see down left, down one side, right down the other, and everything in the middle. So it's a very good range. I can see a lot of the map from one corner. So that's going to be my aim. I'm going to stick to the corners, shoot to the middle, and then try and clear out my own corner. Stay there. Right. As soon as the game begins, choose my Mega Assault. Check the connection. No, not. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Right. As soon as it starts, I'm going to run straight for a corner. Try and bag it before the enemy. Just stop. Okay, there's one down. It's two. Like, several people must have been going for this corner. Right, okay. Right. Oh, there was one at the back I didn't notice. Right, I got a UAV, now I can choose a corner. That's good. Right, there's quite a few, I'm just gonna launch a random nade in there. Hope for the best. No? Right, there's one round the back that I'm gonna try and weed out. Okay. One in here somewhere. Uh, I'm ducking just in case there was another one coming in whilst I'm reloading. Right, I'll take this corner. There was too much enemy pressure on the other one. Now I've taken this one, and it's good because I'm parallel to me. It's the enemy. I'm gonna get some more ammo. I'm gonna sort of move up a bit because they're creeping around to the opposite corner, so I need to follow them. Right, I'm checking any fire positions. There should be some down there. Yeah, there was there was someone around. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to that corner because it was a brilliant corner to stand in. There was quite a few enemies around. There's one near me that I'm gonna catch now. Okay, they've taken this far corner now, so I'm going to sort of move in through, through with the um, cover of this downed plane. Right, now I can keep my UAV up. I, you don't rely on the UAV 100%, it's just a rough guide. Still cover all your laps and corners and everything, don't just assume that there's no one there because the UAV says so, like I just learned. Right. I'm going back for my corner now, just clearing out the people that are there. Alright, there should be one coming around here. Okay, there we go. Alright, back to my corner. Check my kills. I've got a nice kill death going. Someone in there. Right, he's going to be a threat because he's going to come behind me. 
so I need to get him. He, he wasn't too intelligent, but it doesn't matter. I still got a kill for my team. See, see I'm just sort of staying in the corner, flying across. It seems to be working out well, this corner. See, from this gun I can see a lot of the map. I can get the whole left side right down here through the warehouse. And all I have to do is move up a little bit and I can see all through the middle. Okay, let's get the airstrike going. Nah, I can't see through the flames so I'm just going to crouch. The airstrike should have forced some of them into this warehouse and like he did, he had to run into the warehouse to avoid it and right into my gun. Right, that cleared a lot of them out. I'm going to move in and take the rest down. And there's two in there. And then now one came behind me. Which was unfortunate. Didn't see him. Okay. I'm going to sort of go back towards my corner now. I'm going to go through the warehouse to get there. Right, because of the spawns, my team sort of pushed the enemy to my corner that I've been using. So I need to be, I need to hang back and clear it out properly. I don't want to rush in there, back to my corner, and just get shot. So I need to get in there slowly. Yeah, see. see there's a lot of people around it, so I died. Right, run right round. The cover of the wall. Alright, uh, melee back in there. Okay. And I can see that um, spawns have pushed them into the opposite corner from where they all were, so I need to move over there a bit to get some kills. So I've already got two moving towards the con next to mine. No. Yeah, there's some behind me now. So there is a few around this area. Ah, oh, two of them came and got me. Okay, 26 6, not bad. I'm right near the end now. Only a few kills left in my team. I'm just gonna run back to that corner and try and finish the two that killed me. Oh, and the game, the game ended there. Hey, so that was basically how you play the assault class. You get a weapon that's good at medium, slight, r decent at long, and then if you put um, stopping power and steady aim on it, it becomes a quite a good short range weapon as well. So what I did was I stayed around the edges throughout the most of the game, and then a lot of the game I spent in my corner. Okay. So that was the first video I've done for FPS, I usually do this for RTS, and if you have any suggestions or anything, then leave a comment, and like it says, subscribe if you like it.